Hello and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. This is part 2 of the Front End Mentor Chat App Illustration Challenge. In part 1, we were able to complete this mobile illustration. Now in this video, we will work on the entire page and make it responsive. Let's get started. This is where we stopped in the previous video. So now this entire thing can be closed. This is our mobile illustration. So let me just comment it out saying mobile illustration begins. Okay. So now what we do is if you look at the mobile design, we are yet to work on this text. So let's do that now. That would be another div. Let's say some padding. Actually, instead of PT14, this can be PY14. So this needn't have any padding. And within that is a H1 class text. This color might be again fuchsia, fuchsia 900. Font bold, and maybe text 4xl. Simple booking. And we have that here. So we have to add a horizontal padding of maybe px8 and then text center. And here comes the paragraph. You can copy this from the HTML file provided by Frontend Mentor itself. So I'll copy this. And then that comes within P element, P class padding top of six, stay in touch. And then this is a very light gray. So text gray could be 400. Also the line height is a little more. So this would be leading relaxed. Yes, that does it. Okay. And of course, there's a padding bottom, so we can add maybe PB12. Okay. Now comes these uh, background patterns or the background gradient. Now, to add that, let's get started with the desktop design because you get the idea of the width and height from this desktop design and on mobile it's just moved to the left and to the top so keeping this in mind let's add this background image and this background using css now so this entire thing can go inside another div that's going to be relative And within this comes our absolute div for this one right now. This is a gradient, BG gradient to bottom. Starting from, I think, fuchsia 500 to purple 600. And then a completely rounded bottom. So rounded B full. Okay. And... The height and width, uh, the height, the largest height that we have is probably 96, which is not sufficient, but let's just add it. And then width also could be 96. Now let's see what this gives us. So as you see, the width and height needs to be customized. And also this needs to go behind and the mobile illustration needs to come in front. For that, we need to have some, add some Z index. And let's put this again inside another div. Yes, this can be relatively positioned with a Z index of 10. This would be absolute with Z index of 0. So that pushes it backwards. And now, Let's give the correct height and width to this. 
Let's add some inline style first and if that works, we will add it to the config.js. So here the width could be, I guess it's something like 30 RVM and then the height could be 40 RVM. Yeah, since it's moved to the left, I think this should work. The height is a little more. Mm, that could be 42 RM. Little more. 43 RM. Yes, that's almost right. So now let's add these into the tailwind.config.js by saying height 172 43 RM and then width is 120 and that is 30 rm actually these values could be anything i am just following the same convention and adding into four into four values so now we can remove this and add width 120 yeah, width 120 and height 172 but we'll have to do npm run build because we changed the config file yes now let's move it to the top and to the left for that we can use the negative value of top so this is probably top 60 not so much um, maybe top 40 yes and a left of maybe 80 it's almost there maybe left of 72 yeah that's that's fine i'm not going to tweak this further this is great now we'll have to use the same div it's just the reverse of it that comes down here on the mobile design and the background color needs to change of course so add this here and here it's not a bg gradient but instead it's a bg maybe fuchsia 50 it's a very light pink and here it's rounded top full and not top 40 it instead would be bottom 40 and then right minus 72 what does this give us Okay, so now you see we almost have that div placed here, but the only problem is this is making our, you know, scroll bars appear. So to fix this, what we can do is, okay, this has to be relative. That's, that's why. Okay, to fix this horizontal and vertical scrolling, what we can do is add W full, H full, and then say overflow hidden that should fix that and yes it does so if you see this is what we have just a slightly more to the bottom so we can do that let's just have to increase this to maybe 48 yeah that's almost there or even maybe 52 that's great so we have completed the mobile version of this entirely now let's just see how to make it appear great for all the tablets and desktop version as well let me just make this full screen this is the desktop design that we need to achieve so if we resize this i think somewhere around md breakpoint we can use flexbox to put both these next to each other let's do that now so we can say flex here md flex and then items center let's see md item center so this is what it does and i think it's better if we have both the columns of equal width so let's do 
MD flex one. That's here. So this is what it gives us. And at this point, we need this to be left aligned. So MD X left. And then somewhere here, we would like to make this really large. So maybe at LG breakpoint, we can do that. Since we don't have the intermediate designs of tablets, we don't know what to expect. But at LG breakpoint, we can change things by saying top, maybe 10, and then left could be minus 10. That's again at LG or maybe 14. We need to move this mobile illustration to the right. Currently, flex justify center is holding it in the center of this box. So at MD breakpoint, we could change the flex to block instead. So that just moves it entirely to the left. And here within, what we could do is MD ML auto so it pushes it completely to the right and then here we can say mr 20 and that's placed almost exactly where we need it let's see if something broke here now i think everything's perfect it's just that now if you notice this gets cut off here the way to fix this is we can have a min height of screen here. So the minimum height would be at least the height of the screen and that fixes it. Final little tweaks that we need to do is we need to move this, I think further more to the left and to the top. So the way to do that is maybe top minus 16 and a little more to the left, right? So that would be 28 yes that's mostly what it is you could further make it a little more uh, you know to the left yeah left 32 that's okay uh, this is about the left side design what about the right one that also needs to be moved to the top and to the left so again at LG breakpoint they could say bottom maybe 20 and then right maybe 20 sorry that should be negative minus right 20 no bottom could be 32 and then right could be 32 as well So anyway, this is how it's done. The only last thing pending is there is a max width to this particular div here. It's just, you know, constrained to this much width. So all we need to do again is come here and say MD max width, maybe MD. Uh-huh. So not here. Let's change that to this yeah that's it let's check to make sure nothing is broken and yes this is perfect and back to the mobile design this is perfect as well so congratulations you have learned how to complete this entire challenge using tailwind go ahead and explore all the other challenges and all the mockups that you want to redesign with Tailwind and have fun. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.